and first of all, don't worry about our mood. Okay, it's not that's mm-hmm. we don't make anybody's mood right. But what we can do is inspire and lead anyone out of bad mood, right? So if she's not yeah. clicking, you're just fun. Now, so don't forget you have those gifts on your phone too all the time, right? You could send a yeah. uh, or a picture, Google a picture of Lady and the Tramp if you don't, you know, can't make it happen with your dog. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can still get your, you can still be fun. Think cartoony. That's what the A yeah. is in adventure or for stat, right? Adventure. Mm-hmm. Like, be fun. All right, Josh, tell me what's up, man. How can I help you? Hey, yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, I mean, I think I've been messaging on the on the chat thing. And I don't know, last weekend was, uh, let's see. Yeah, last weekend was pretty rough. You know, I knew uh, my wife was, she mentioned she would start, was looking around for somewhere to go. And, uh, mm-hmm. but I was kind of watching our deposits, you know, in our account and nothing was changing. You know, before when she left, you know, I noticed she started you know, at first she was doing it kind of shady even about like getting cash back at the store and stuff, trying to hide it from me. But with my job and stuff like that, it's kind of hard to hide stuff from me. Um, and so I didn't notice anything this time. And then, so last Sunday she's like, Hey, you know, I found a place and, uh, I found out tomorrow if I get the keys and I had already worked like 75 hours that week at work. And so like 35 hours, I was freaking smoked. And, uh, so she just pretty much turned like super cold. I think that was a defense mechanism for her of what she was doing to get out of the house, but she just pretty much shut down. And, uh, you know, when she's like, I'm picking up the key today and, uh, I'm like, well, how are you even, you know, I asked her, how are you even going to afford it? You know, I'm like, it's gotta be at least like 1800 a month or something. And, um, she's like, well, it's 17 and I'll make it work. And, uh, so essentially she got a loan, like a, personal loan or something for like the deposit and all that kind of stuff. But, um, Mm -hmm. so she left and went and slept there in an empty rental house, like a duplex, like small duplex thing. And so that was the last night she stayed here. And, um, she came back yesterday, I think, or day before yesterday and picked up our, cause we have two cats. She picked those up. Um, and my daughter stayed with her last night and the night before because I've, I've had to work, but, um, she's bringing her back today so there's just been a lot of things going on it's it feels like a like almost the exact repeat of the last time that she left and, well um, i think um, let's let's get into this a little bit but first thing i just want to say is like you know it's it's funny we got to lose the mentality how can you afford this like yeah. they'll get loans they'll they'll get a job that you don't know about they'll they'll um you know get a gift from their parents or whatever like like women are resourceful mm-hmm. we got to sort of lose yeah. that mentality and uh but, I'm, you know, in hearing the story, I mean, you don't even have a ton, like a ton of frustration. You're just totally cool and collected. So what is it that you think you need help with here right now? Um, I don't know. Like, uh, part of me, it's weird because I know this is my second t- time around, right? Um, and I thought it was going to be way worse. Mostly I was, like, overthinking it, I think, because, like, we have a dog, and he's pretty a sensitive um animal and stuff like that and so now he's he's home alone for like 12 to 14 hours a day which he can manage he can't i don't have a dog door or nothing but he's really good about not so i was overthinking <laughs> Josh, about, like, let's let's use the time to help you man what do you what do you need man i love that you love animals but what what do you need help with here where are you at like it's not as hard as it was the first time do you need to talk about that yeah do you <sighs> maybe just like reassurance that there's a possibility or like my mind for some reason i'm feeling pretty good about like just being here by myself and having my kid every other week but that's not what i want i want uh, my marriage and my family and okay so you're you're probably starting to struggle with like you know you're you're in the program and you're taking care of you and so two things happen with the mind of a man okay one it's like i'm so focused on me that i start to think like well I'm, I am supposed to survive without her, right? Which is good. That's good. We bring that man back, right? The other thing that happens is, um, like you've seen some of the lords uh, this week, they were talking, and it's like, man, you're only doing this for your wife. It's not going to work then. You're just putting her on a pedestal, right? So you're probably, because you've been practiced the second time around, right? You realize, like, like if you really reflect and you, I mean, you jump in this program to take responsibility for yourself. And as you go through the program, you're like, okay, there's lots of things I can learn. There's lots of things I need to do differently. Um, mm-hmm. But also 
you're learning to stand on your own two feet and you're also learning to embrace reality. We can't control her, right? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, we can't. You'll have tons of opportunities, but that's good, man. If you can survive without her and like you're starting to say, well, this is my reality right now, that's good. Mm-hmm. Now the whole, I say, you know, we can survive without her, but I would die without Casper, right? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. the guy that's going to show up, not trying to prove, but just be. You know, mm-hmm. when you're exchanging kits, when you are, um, you know, whatever, helping remove some stuff, you just you just show up and, and bring the new guy. We're not going to try to cram down our throat and you just you just see what happens. And then I think correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you were sort of also asking, like, like, what is the possibility? Like, like, is it is there still hope to bring us back together? Were you were you asking that as well? Essentially, yeah. Yeah. OK, so, yes, <laughs> like there's nothing but time. Right. Like even if you imagine the worst case scenario where you guys are, are signing the papers and it's done. OK, uh, actually, there's worse. There's got there's lords where they're they're The wives are with somebody else living in somebody else's house. Yeah. Right. So th- there's worse. E- even then, like you always have opportunities to show. And now you're still pretty new. But if you just started asking other lords or, or you know, sort of say any, anybody you know, been through this where, you know, it feels like it's over. Like, should I just start moving on? They'll come back and they'll tell you their stories or stories of other Lords where, yeah, the the women were gone or the women were with another man, but those guys aren't leveling up. Like 99% of the world, men and women are not growing, are not leveling up. They buy self-help and they don't use it. They fall back into comfort and complacency. That's most of the world, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, if you can think about it like that, the worst case scenario really is she actually lives with the other guy. But yeah. that guy, that guy's not growing. That guy's farting in front of her. You know, he's a slob. He's not in shape that you're getting in, in better shape. That guy's not learning. He's playing video games or hanging out with his, his buddies that are negative or what. Like, you know, all the little things. But that guy's also not showing up as the right kind of man at home. Like, he's got all the provider mentality. He's got all stuff that you learn, Right. He's got this whole mentality like like um, I'm such a great guy, you know, yeah. and it's it's just it's so uncommon to find that perfect person. And, and, and here, forget my word for a second. Regular divorce statistics, first marriage, like 54 percent. And then it's in the 60s, mid 60s for second. And then it's in the high 70s for third. And then it goes up in the fourth right to the 80s. And so that's why I'm always like. Divorce statistics are, are like at whatever, 73%, whatever number I go with. I always look on this one website. But if if we're worried about the other guy, worst case scenario, <laughs> you don't have to worry. Why do you think everybody's getting divorced all the time? More and more and more and more, the more they get yeah. married, right? So yeah. if you can think about that, we have nothing but time. We use every opportunity to show up, not prove, to show up. And then she sees that. Not only that, there's other opportunities, not just kids. There's also the people in your life that are mutual, right? Mm -hmm. When you're doing A, B, C, and you still work 75 hours this week and you didn't complain, you just showed up and you were like, you were awesome. The energy was Mm -hmm. there, leading, right? Because man, husband, father, leader in life. That's the goal. Just a man. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Just a man, right? And I call you Lord. Now, as a Lord, you interact with all these other people, not just your wife. So she's going to interact with those same people, a lot of them right? We'll be the same yeah. people. And then they'll start asking questions. Now, if you think about how it can go deeper, you know, she's talking to one of her friends. Yeah, no, I left them and I'm in my own place. And, you know, and she's got nothing to complain about right now because in every opportunity you seem different, mm-hmm. but wait a minute, Cindy, her friend is talking to, are talking about her husband and she's complaining. So her mind starts to think, well, something's different here, Right. And pretty soon, Cindy and Judy are telling your wife, you better jump on that. He's totally different right now. What do you mean he's been flirting with you and like he's just carrying out life and he's being super sweet and helpful, but he's he's just, he's like, everything's different. This is not like you used to complain, mm-hmm. right? And then you have yeah. one big one too. You have one big one too. I mean, the hours you work, right? You didn't know how to prioritize your wife with yeah. the hours. That's a massive for men like us who work a lot, but when you learn from the reset and from lords how to prioritize your wife 
make the quality time when you start to have it again special, right? Because the first goal obviously is dating, right? It's not, it's nothing crazy. We're, we're going to start dating again, right? And yeah. so when she feels the difference, that will trigger her to think about the difference in everything else because you haven't been cramming it down her throat. You haven't been explaining why you're so great. You're just literally showing up and naturally through conversation, you know, you sound different. Your energy is different, right? Does that make sense, dude? Yeah, I mean, she knows that, uh, I mean, I've been following along, so I just started the third um, segment and I've listened to all that No More Mr. Nice Guy book and that thing hit pretty hard with me. Um, I'm definitely a yeah, it puppy, does. Sitting, puppy sitting around the counter waiting for scraps and, um, you know, the boundary thing kind of threw me off and I can see how letting everything just slide and pretend like nothing happened the first time when she cheated on me, that could, I think that caused a really big problem. I mean, I was just, I just pretty much let her, you know, walk on me, but, um, I, I would be careful with that. Um, yes and no, like you can't let her walk on you, but also if she's not respecting you that much, there's nothing mm -hmm. you can say. You can't yeah. even tell her about the rules of marriage, Josh, because if she's if she she's like everybody knows the rules first of all and if she's disrespecting that much and she's feeling like you're trying to come at her she's already justified it in her brain so yeah. the we got to go back to the beginning why wasn't she looking at you well you're in the reset and you're picking up all these things like especially when you get to to man in control and you're talking about normal or nice guy and you start to really realize how those three man in power man with the impact and man in control negatively impacted every decision you made every blame incident you had that you threw at her puking your feelings right and we can go on and on and on then if you start talking about that with her I'm like no way and i know the example you're talking about it's the dude whose wife is going out dancing with everybody and he lays the boundary down yeah yeah potentially but by the time he's doing something like that he's already been showing up and he's just getting some of this last stuff in place you yeah like unless you get lucky and she's like oh no i don't want to lose everything and like well is that a <laughs> chance we're willing to take if you put guilt inside her negative any negative inside her she's just gonna go well this guy makes me feel good all right see ya right and yeah, so that makes sense <laughs> we, we take responsibility man remember well if you run the red light and she hits you drunk she's going to go to jail but that's secondary to the fact that you're dead right yeah. you ran red light you are the first problem now i'm not saying that you wouldn't level up and you would be like willing to embrace and accept her for you know just like like never need to talk about this never need some different kind of assurance you definitely would have some insecurities but what i am saying is from the men in the program who just level up they don't waste time trying to convince her on the rules of marriage try to earn respect they just get respected she starts to look at him differently she she starts to well, man, she's opening up her towel and saying, check out this show for later, putting panties in your pocket, sneaking in the bathrooms with you. You're not insecure about that. Anymore. You know, no. have you seen the testimonial from Corey yet? The accidental yeah. one from the, the coaching yeah, you, call? Yeah, you sent it to me before I even paid. Um, I think I saw it like before you put it on the phone. Okay. Because uh, I was, was kind of apprehensive, I think. But um, no, that one's good. And um, no, that it, it makes sense. And lately, I don't know, I get the feeling that and I know I can't think about what she's thinking or try to guess or anything, but it's almost like a, uh, like a teenager, you know, you tell them, Hey, don't climb out of your window. They're going to do it three times, you know? And, uh, that's how she's, yeah. she's acting and I can't control any of that. But over the past week when, you know, when she's been, uh, gone, I haven't been reaching out to her a lot. Like if I did, I'd say good night, you know, hope, good night. Hopefully you get some sleep or whatever, just keeping it easy, um, at the most, but, it's i noticed you know she's reaching out to me like she's asking me questions that she doesn't even need to ask like for instance when she was supposed to come over yesterday to get a lot of her stuff she goes hey do you want me to let the dog out and i know what that was because she was already going to be here she was already going to let the dog out you know what i mean and so mm -hmm. it's kind of that kind of that reaching out and i'm not reading into it um too much but we we're even joking around texting each other funny shit last night and so it's just this weird i don't think yeah. i have that far to go man i really don't think i have that far to go to you get probably it. don't like but keep your keep your head centered and straight focus on what you need to do like i know a lot of lords like if you're in a separated state you're like oh you guys are so lucky with your wife at home still right mm -hmm. 
But the lords with the wife at home, when they're trying to learn as fast as possible, they have no distraction. You have no distraction, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. So you can spend this time. Your first priority is to show up learning and implementing the reset. Um, there is a toolbox in the Lord's group at the bottom, okay. which uh, you'll see it's the very last section okay. in there. It gives you ideas, text message templates. If you guys have a gift thing that's coming up, game changing, gift giving. Um, we're not going to get to dates and stuff like that, but go take a look at that for a minute because even though you're not at Man of Play, there's a reason that's later. But if you're already interacting with her like this, then send some text messages in a different way. I mean, for example, yeah. I'm going to teach you, like, we want to be given gratitude, right? You, you saw that in, in some of the first modules, right? We talked about a couple of times. Well, you can be doing, say she takes not only less a dog, out, maybe she just leaves a nice note. Maybe she, whatever, tidies something up that hopefully you didn't leave unattended because you're a man at home. But, um, but the point is like, you can send a nice video message or an audio message differently. There's other ideas in there. Like you're driving down the road and you see a billboard that reminds you of her, then stop, pull over, take a selfie with the, with the billboard and be like, Hey, remember that time, you know? Mm -hmm. And you know, there's so many easy opportunities to create opportunities. Now just don't go overboard with it right now. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know, you're you, you're in a position where she's saying, I want space. I don't believe in space. I want you no. to provide structure for where you're going. However, we also don't want to get her to shut down. And now you have zero opportunities or less because you're not together. You're because you're separate right now. OK. Yeah. yeah. What do you make out of that? Um, it was interesting. So yesterday there's been a lot of things going on. Not only my daughter seems like she's doing pretty good, like she's not. I think she might be kind of bottling some stuff up, but I put it out there. Hey, you know, Sierra, this, this is nothing like, none of this is your fault. And you can talk to me anytime that you want to. And she kind of, you know, she's only 11 or almost 11. She didn't want to talk about it. So I just kind of left it alone, but I'm there for her. But, um, mm -hmm. yesterday, yesterday she comes and with everything going on, she comes when they come here to the house, her freaking hamster's dead, you know? And yeah, so know. she, she has a huge, that's another loss essentially. But, um, so I text my, cause my wife texts me, Hey, change of plans. The hamster's dead and everything. And, uh, so I was like, how did it die? And she's like, I don't know. It was some like emoji thing of a girl with her arms up. And, um, she came, she's like instantly said, yeah, mother, mother of the year award again for me. Right. And so I don't like, do you take that as she's like feeling shitty about her? So like, I, I just didn't, couldn't make sense out of it. I didn't say anything. So I don't know if you remember from man with impact, but like, we don't really want to assume anyways. So you're curious. Uh, so part yeah. of stat is using curiosity, right? So, okay. uh, you, you totally, you can kind of dig deeper in there, right? Hey, that's, that's a, a weird question. I mean, you're not even here or is she, is your daughter living with her at the time? I guess so. Right. Um, it's going to be a week on week off. So, but yeah. right now, when the hamster's dead, where's the daughter? With you or with mom? Oh, I was at work. She was with mom. They came from her new place. Oh, okay. To to stop yeah. So, got it. Got it. So, yeah. So, just use curiosity. Hey, babe. Yeah. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. You're an awesome mom, right? So, why? Why do you say that, honey? You know? Or if you're not really sure about validating at a statement like that, because that's not really your responsibility. At that point, yeah. if she's feeling terrible, right? Um, no. Oh, sorry, baby. I'm just Your on a call. Baby Cupcake, I'm just on a call, okay? The one? Hey, baby uh, Cupcake, I'm just on a call. Can I talk to you in a minute? The, the, the okay, baby. All right. I'll see you in a minute, okay? You show me. Sorry, Josh. Um, no, no problem. So, yeah. So, what you want to do is then um, even maybe just forget the validation there, right? Because That's what I did. the I validation... Did. The validation there could be like you trying to fix it. And that's a problem with the nice guy. We don't need to fix anything. She was telling you mother of the year sarcastically, right? Um, that doesn't actually have any bearing, especially if the if the hamster just died. Like actually Catherine was just talking about hamsters a couple weeks ago, like they die. They don't live very long, right? No, so it could have just been a regular, like, yeah. And so, hey, why do you feel that way? You know, and slow your tone down too sometimes. Like, hey, Ben. This is a great opportunity to throw in the connection still, structure for where we're going. You're still my baby, right? Or whatever you call her. Hey, Ben. Yeah. What? Why do you say that? Right? You see how you slow it down? You actually are trying to understand what she's feeling, right? 
when she's saying mother of the year because a hamster died, she's probably actually saying, you know, the hamster died. Um, I didn't do this. I, I left the house. I left left daddy. Right. Like there's probably a lot of things I don't want you to assume. But when you use curiosity, you don't assume you actually yeah. find out what she actually means. OK, does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, I think maybe now what that, it was was. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I was just going to ask you a question. Is that hard for you because of your profession? Like you have to make educated guesses very fast, and so you probably don't ask a lot of questions until later in the process. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, you're on your you you got to like, yeah, you do. You got to make an educated guess to come up with what the fuck you're going to do next, like on a tragic thing with you know you don't have any suspects, all this kind of stuff, and where it works a pretty violent place, and so it is hard. Yeah, I remember you saying so. That's going to be programmed in you. And also probably a lot of, well, I, I've seen this with, with police, military, firefighters, EMCs, like they're, you, you're going to have to de or sorry, reprogram the empathy a little bit, put yourself into the shoes. So when you're using curiosity, that's already going to be a challenge. You might have to also deal with empathy. So you stop and you go, hmm, what, what could she be saying? What could she be? Feeling? That's a terrible thing. Even though it's, it sounds like sarcasm, right? Yeah. It's, what is she actually saying? Okay. And then try to get that feeling from her. So that this is why we use stat. Then she knows it's a safe place to feel instead of you interrogating or lecturing her like you used to. Yeah. That's okay? part of it. I think it's where calm. that came from was when um, it probably came from some of our past arguments over the past year and a half, because I'm sure I had said something like, Hey, you know, what kind of a mom would, cheat with a sex offender you know a child sex offender and put their kid in that type of situation you know looking back that's probably where it came from because she's one of the types that it's like a rolodex of everything i've ever said to her is like permanently in the back of her mind right now and um but they so they just, all <laughs> do it's it's why i teach the lessons about how uh like we undermine her as a as a woman a wife a mother mm. like as a person actually right so it's not just your wife. And I don't think that everyone's necessarily keeping score like the way you're describing. But I do think that, you know, it's the normal seven positives to outweigh a negative, right? That's the same sort of comment. When, when we signed you up for the program, remember we talked with us? I said that's the same sort of comment you'd say when you're talking about the rules of marriage, except for it's yeah. like even worse. You're talking about sex offender, right? So yeah, yeah. at that, at, she already justified it, right? Mm -hmm. So if we can start to undo that, not, not replace, like, it's not like she's just going to forget it. It's not like we're just going to yeah. sweep it under the rug. But what I mean is by undo is if we can start to replace the unsafe with the safe environment. She can start to trust you again. That's what she had before. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what we all had until we started to go sideways, right. Drift apart. Yeah. So just think about that. I want to keep her safe. Like I would for any citizen. Right. And yeah. Yeah. my job here is literally to make sure that she can feel again, not feel bad, just feel whatever she needs to feel. And something like a comment like that, man, she's she's probably feeling so guilty about so many things, starting with the affair, starting with yeah. leaving you, starting with you both not being in the like parents full time. Right. Yeah. By having 50 yeah. percent. Like, there's so many. Again, don't assume if you can ask her, you know, then you will find when she feels safe, she'll start to share with you more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get there, man. I know one, one good thing was, um, she hadn't been, she had, my mom, pretty, we pretty much took her in when she was like 16 when we first met, she was living in a really bad, um, place and everything. So my mom was essentially her mom. So there's this other dynamic going on there, but once everything started a few years ago, especially with her affair and all that, she just pretty much stopped talking to my mom, which my mom doesn't live around here. She lives up by Seattle, but um, that really hurt my mom's feelings, you know, like shit, almost like mm -hmm. she abandoned her too. But um, a few days ago, my mom kind of leaked it to me just because she wants me to have as much information to work with, I guess you would say. But my wife did yeah. reach out to my mom, to my mom and it described quite a bit of the reason why or how she's feeling and how the childhood trauma and all these different things like that. So I thought that was great that she was at least opening up. It's a step in the right direction, open up to somebody because she doesn't have any friends. Uh, just the people she works with is about 
it. She doesn't talk okay. to her brothers. I mean, all this stuff. New focus for you too. Then, in the back of your mind, like you know, I talk about lead leadership as you're both gonna lead when you're together, right? Her mm -hmm. strengths will lift your weaknesses, and vice versa. But this is such a good example of where we need to step up as men and lead. So in the back of your mind, I want you to think about that. As you go through Man With Purpose, as you become closer with us in Lords, develop some true quality relationships, this will inspire her. This will lead her to find her own self. A lot of the time, this is why a woman finally just pulls the pin and leaves, gets her own place. It's why she takes a loan out. It's that important, right? Yeah. It's why some of them will will leave millions of dollars behind. Maybe they'll get it later. I'm sure they will, but they don't give a shit. They just want a way, right? Yeah. They've, they've, they've got to find themselves again. They had a ceiling on their life, essentially, even with a career, because they ended up having to be your mom too. She ended mm -hmm. up having to, you know, deal with your emotions and lead you. And, yeah. you know, and we can go on and on and on and on, but... This is one of the best things that you will find. It's when you be, that's why I describe our marriage as like superpower couples, because it's not just uh, glorified roommates get along pretty well at best. It's not just a power couple. It's not couple goals. It's superpower couple because when you're both elevated, you're both tens, never done growing, have all this purpose, the real quality relationships in life, actual people you can count on. Now you're influencing the world, everyone around you whoever that is, right? So this yeah. is a, something I want you to keep in mind because especially knowing what you're like coming in the program, like pretty much work focused and, and mm -hmm. wife and family focused. That's normal, right? But yeah, it, it should start to click when you get into Man With Purpose, all of what we're talking about right now. And this is this is an amazing opportunity for her to just grow, to explode yeah. with you, you know? Okay. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't, to be honest with you, man, looking back, I wouldn't have wanted to live here with me either the way I was acting. I mean, bottom line. When you learn everything, hey? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was doing the exact thing. It's like I just couldn't leave stuff alone. She'd say, I don't want to talk anymore. And she would literally go back to Sierra's bedroom with my daughter. And essentially, she was using my daughter as a shield, essentially, because she knew mm -hmm. that I wouldn't talk about so much stuff in front of Sierra. But there was nights, especially when I had been drinking, that I felt terrible because I did say stuff in front of the kid. And so she, I pushed her to the furthest corner of the house. And then, you know, I finally got into your stuff and stopped doing it. But at that point she had her mind up, made it up. She needed to go out of this house. So she doesn't trust me yet. Um, and so no, it'll take I time. Yeah. 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 I get it. That's why we look for those opportunities like this message that she sent you. So yeah. that, that's a perfect opportunity because, you know, you're not piggybacking off what she's saying anymore and talking about yeah. you and all the things that you want, all the puking, right? Mm -hmm. You're not, you're not lecturing her anymore. You're opening your heart to, to give her the safe place again. That's the start, right? So okay. that's why we do man and power first to take responsibility because now you can see just using that example right there, right? Well, that's why she, she probably didn't even know enough about the sex offense in her mind like meaning she wasn't thinking about it at all yeah because that's yeah all she was doing was running making herself feel something good again right that's why we do man yeah. power first we take responsibility understanding what you're re reflecting on right now next goal man with impact and create that safe place for her again this is when you have peace without peace man yeah. we can't even talk about more fun cute text messages never mind dates and eventually her moving home again right yeah yeah i had a qu um, another one for you and this is one thing i've been mm -hmm. hung up on the whole hung up on the whole entire time so with her behaviors and stuff um over the past couple of years i would say like i don't know i still have a really hard time believing that she's not in contact with the guy and i know i know i know i need to protect my daughter and so my fear is that that if she is still going to be around this guy, I don't, you know, how do I go about that? I have to explain to her that I can't, that I will not, um, I won't put up with him being anywhere around my daughter or like anything like that. And so, yeah, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that because yeah. then she's just going to go do it and say whatever. Right. Like, but you, you can um, definitely start with a hard conversation. Hey, honey, I know it's not your obligation to tell me anything, 
but I'm wondering just because of, you know, I don't know if you know his name, you know, XYZ's background, you know, are you open to just at least allowing me to know how you're pursuing him or whatever, just because I'm scared for Sierra. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just scared. And B, that's, remember in Man with the Impact where I talk about indisputable fact and feeling, share just the feeling. Don't puke. Don't start explaining yeah. why sex offenders in your child's life is bad. Nothing. In this, in yeah. this case, though, you don't have the indisputable fact. So you have to yeah. try to be gentle. And would it be okay? You know, and she's not obligated and you can't do anything right now. Does your state have no laws about, about that or is it time lapsed already or something? Oh. Yeah, whenever it's uh, whenever you're off probe, so he did it and it was in a different state and went to prison for ten years and then probably moved to um, escape. Whoever will probably wanted to hunt him down and kill him, obviously. But uh, yeah, if you're not on probation and there's not, it's drugs are legal here. That's I mean, right it's there. crazy. Like, I mean, nothing. You can pretty much do whatever you want in Oregon. I mean, it's just a, it's one of those mm -hmm. states. I mean, hard drug. Like, you can have methamphetamine on you. It's not a big deal. Like anything. And so, wow. yeah, essentially no. And I've a uh, and I, I have asked her that multiple times out of my fear, nicely, not nicely. I mean, over this period of time, because I did, you know, catch her talking to him again less than a month and a half ago. Um, but she'll swear on Sierra that she's not involved with him anymore and that she only met up with him to warn him about me. Because, yeah, I had made statements that if he was around my daughter, I'd kill him, you know, and I'll be honest. Like yeah, that. So, and I understand. Trust me. However, you have to think about... The solution. If you're not, if you're just going to be part of the problem, you're not. You're probably going to push and hurt Sierra, not you, but because of the circumstance, right? Yeah. Don't get me yeah. wrong, man. I mean, I, I have, I, I, woo, yeah. Trust me, I'm on your, I'm on your team here. <laughs> the goal, the goal is to, is to find out as best we can. Um, you know, I would start with that. If that doesn't get you where we want. Oh, by the way, this is an awesome opportunity for you to show up with just sharing a feeling without puking, not lecturing, right? Yeah. So take take the opportunities, okay? We or create them. Yeah. This is creating them. So now, if that doesn't go well, like within you know three days or, or four days, she doesn't get back to you and say, "Hey, you know, I thought about what you said," because it should be so simple, right? And then just leave it. And if it do doesn't get anywhere, then let me know because we can come up with maybe a different plan. Because I also would not be comfortable with my with my daughters. Um, well, no, my, son, I, I, my sons, I, you know, yeah, it's just that she's God. I mean, I've caught her in, you know, just like every wife who's probably acting out. I mean, I've caught her in so many lies that I, and she's never done anything to try to, you know, fix that. And so even with her swearing, yeah, but so this is, if you think Josh, if you think the goal of what we do here, inspire lead, then we might have to ask. And then we motivate with boundaries. Well, we're kind of on a past the boundary stage anyways. We can't yeah. do anything much with the asking right now. She's got to feel safer, right? And mm -hmm. then, hi, baby cupcake. And then, so we've got, what we can do is, if you think about it, like, you're trying to be able to uh, create opportunities, use opportunities to show up, then e even if she doesn't, she, she's used to lying, she's not going to give you the truth, you're inspiring, and you do that long enough, you're leading. That's what we're doing. We're leading her back to the peace pillar here, okay. right? So Perfect. if you, I mean, you don't, nobody wants an unintelligent wife. So obviously she's an intelligent yeah. woman. And so mm -hmm. by using this opportunity, creating this opportunity, then using it to show up and she knows you're not puking. She's not dumb. She's going to spend time. That's why I said, wait three days, four days. See what she comes back with. And I kind of thought about it. Yeah. I can appreciate why you're scared. That might open mm -hmm. up the conversation to, so that she knows it's safe enough to tell you so you both can plan the safety of your child okay yeah i, I hope so and, I, and my daughter she's super uh, mature for her age and everything and i know um i've had her, i've had a, a safety talks with her obviously over the years and you know i'm kind of relying on if you know she gets uncomfortable in a spot that she'll come and tell me you know and then i'll you know that's a, i have to protect that mm -hmm. way because i mean i see a, a lot of bad things i'm just on the phone here yeah uh, i but, i can see that what i want you to do is not let your mind go right now focus on okay. the objection Ob objection objective yeah. sorry okay? okay and then then let me know if we don't get anywhere with this because okay. i also would want to make a, a more solid plan than that 
Um, I'm guessing though, you know, it's if you think back to like a lot of times the guy is living in the mom's basement. He's a sex offender. He's, um, yeah. you know, whatever, an alcoholic doesn't even work. Like it's so many times it's, it's the weirdest, like what? I was that bad. That's not the part that they're seeing. That's not what they're yeah. connected to. Guaranteed. I mean, I'm guessing. Guaranteed. No, I keep saying I'm guessing, but guaranteed. I don't like to assume, but like it's really dumb to be involved with somebody when you have a child that has a oh, history yeah. like that. Like, I mean, come on. Like, let's be realistic here. I'm not saying people, I'm the last person to judge. In fact, I would still take a man in my program who's done things like this. Of course. It's our responsibility. Yeah. But right now I'm just talking about safety of of, of Sierra. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I hope, you know, she can keep, she even told my mom, she's like, I feel horrible about what I did. I never should have heard him like that, all this kind of stuff. But it's just, you know, that's my main, my main thing. Overall, I have to protect my kid and um, whether, you know, if she wants to make, put her in a position like that, I have to set something up to where that can't happen. And she, she knows that if she's involved with them, I'd already told her a year and a half ago that if I find out she's going to choose that, then, you know, I'll have a pretty good argument in court. And then I have to put up protection plans for Sierra, you know, and that's going to be her yeah, choice. I, I want you to be very careful with your protection of your daughter while you're okay. trying to get life organized. Plus, even okay. even if we ended up having a co-parent forever, um, yeah. that was just the choice. Like, I'll, I'll say this. Maybe she just never got over that guilt she expressed to your mom. And she's like, he's leveled up so much i've seen that happen twice out of the the 2240 men in the old reset there was two men that i know of only that that um their their wife just felt so guilty from the affair cuz this guy these guys leveled up you know mm -hmm. and they so those marriages didn't work she that's her stuck in her own shame her own pain or whatever right um yeah. who knows what will happen i don't know i mean there's time nothing but time but yeah. i want you to think about it like this Think about the structure of the marriage where you want it to go, not mm -hmm. for what you have to do, safe reacting because she's not with you right now, right? And if you can stat respond and provide the structure where you're going, for example, the safety that we're talking about most of the call, then what will happen is you might not even have to have that. So don't make those kinds yeah. of – that's a safe – another another it's a safe reaction, it, but it's also another time when like like so many of us did – enforcing boundaries the e and safe right trying to protect yourself make yourself feel safe with defending and justifying that's what enforcing means right yeah like okay. so like the thing is we don't follow through on it right well would mm -hmm. you follow through on this potentially yes but not anytime soon so it's really just a safe reaction right yeah makes okay. sense yeah i'm feeling pretty good man i mean it's uh I see a lot of the guys on your call on the calls like and stuff like especially that William guy you know just falling to pieces and everything like that and I'm sure I was like that mm -hmm. the last time but man I mean I'm glad I have such a good support group and then this and then I mean it's not that bad and I know that always I've always had a gut feeling that that divorce is not the right thing for us like I, sometimes I'll see couples and I'll be like geez you know that's terrible but that's not us you know and and I've tried to talk her into it and do every X, Y, and Z. And I knew I needed something. That's why, I, you know, I reached out to you. And uh, it's, I don't know, I feel pretty good about it, really. Like, I think she's just, you know, spreading her wings or whatever. And um, I just got to play it by ear and keep doing my best. So Yeah, man. I, I there Some of the things we talk about, the highlights, man, like, that's one of the best things when she's spreading her wings. I mean, ideally, she'd be at home spreading her wings and growing and leveling up and everything. But, yeah. you know, finding purpose, whatever. But, like, it's just – it's like, there's so many positives here from what you said today that we – you have tons to latch on to. And we do have nothing but time. Nothing but time. You know, it's like the guys that come into the program and their wives, they're buying their wife a, a – they're putting a down payment on a house, like, that same first week or the same day they join mm -hmm. the program. I'm like, who cares? You have a rental property. Fuck. Like, yeah. what – Yep. whatever like there's always a way to spin it and provide the structure for where you want to go but we tend to ride that roller coaster so if you're feeling stable man that's good that's great you're taking responsibility for you you got to have a little bit of clarification on something that's okay you're clearly implement learning implementing and moving forward in the right direction man that's good yeah one thing that you could do more is you could reach back to lords advise them with the stuff that you're understanding because that'll help you take a yeah. deeper look 
inside way easier looking outside in right okay. so once you've looked outside in some of the other marriages in lords then you'll start to reflect back on you and go oh shit i could have done that differently you know yeah i'm gonna put and a question it'll start to make things happen faster yeah yeah i was gonna put it four questions yeah close to, mm -hmm. close to the end but um i was gonna put a question on on uh lords too but uh we're you're in canada but we have independence day like the fourth of july coming up and on july yeah. 4th obviously so that's next week yeah. well it's not, it's not my week to have the kid um and i think there's like a parade and fireworks and all that kind of crap my thought was i'm not gonna ask to go with them but i got a feeling i'm probably gonna get i might get invited but i'm not having any expectations right to go do anything yeah with them. be be but be way proactive man no dude way proactive man make a plan for canada hey i'm going to and whatever the parade at this time mm -hmm. i was actually gonna grab a bite before or after make make a plan and say okay. want to join right and do that on like a video text okay okay smiling cool smiling hey i'm going to the, to the parade. i don't care if you go by yourself you'll send a selfie if you, she doesn't meet up with you you send a selfie yeah. saying hope you guys are having a blast this is so great you know mm -hmm. but be okay going okay. by yourself put an audio book in if you go by yourself learn while you go you know, yeah. or bump into people, make some new friends, see if you meet some quality people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But don't, because of what we're trying to do, don't necessarily go, okay, I'm going to call Roger and, you know, whatever. Like, go, go have fun. You don't need her. You don't need anybody sort of, sort of thing. And yeah. of course, last minute, last minute, you could ask somebody to join you if you wanted. But I think that if you know they're probably going, you know, you want to go. We need to be okay with who we are and what we're doing anyways. Yeah. Like later you'll see later you'll see if 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 you go on a date and she for dinner and she doesn't show up i tell you to just go like if she doesn't want to go yeah. i tell you just go right mm -hmm. same sort of thing okay Got that's it. what i would do. okay okay nice man yeah, i appreciate it yeah you could also yeah. go to the dollar store and when you send your video um you know i'm grabbing uh these flags for for you guys too in case you in case you decide to come or whatever you know and nice. now you got these whatever funny hats or something, you know, something goofy, and it's just it's super inviting, mm -hmm. fun, right? Yeah, yeah. It's and, and not not assuming anything, but it's uh, I don't know. It's like I, I'm getting the feeling that she's not like that shut down to me. I'm feeling like, especially when she's even gone for a few nights. I don't know. I feel like it's more of an stuff. Yeah, I, I hope weird. so. But it's just weird. Yeah, I hope so. I I try to get you guys to not try to read it too much it's like the guys that want like the exact step by step give me like okay once i've done this now i do this well we have like an outline but like i mean she could be missing you a little bit and then maybe she bumps into somebody that looks just like the 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 uh guy she's having an affair with and all of a sudden she's cold for a week and now all of a sudden you're shut down like so what what i want you to do is try not to think so much but it's focus on yeah. you dude you know yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? Oh, I want to go to Canada Day with my family. So, you know, oh, sorry, uh, Independence Day with my family. So I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to send a video and then I'm going to go. And if my family's not there, that was my plan anyway. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good, man. Yeah, I got my calendar square. I mean, I don't have any room in my calendar, but I keep busy. I've just been trying to just do the same stuff I've been doing. And um, Oh, if you, you wonder know, why I said Put, a, put an audio book and go into the parade by yourself is because you, you just told me you work 75 hours. So we need to get that learning in, right? So, you know, if you still want to go celebrate Independence Day like like a proud American, like you should, well, then you go, but you can still learn. And I'm not saying you have to do it the whole time. Maybe you drop it down and you start to, you know, talk and connect people to or whatever. But like the, the point is we have a plan and Independence Day is great. Be proud. But like, yeah. man, that's the end of the day. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's, what matters right now? You know what I mean? Yeah. And luckily, I mean, work is kind of a, I don't know. I've been there for a long time. And so quote unquote work when detectives are filling in on patrol, basically that's what we we're doing. We're not proactive. So I've been able to cruise around and just listen to, you know, that whole oh, no awesome. nice guy in like three days. I've been able to listen to that and I'm going to listen to it again and do the exercises. But then now that the, yeah. your third section finally opened up yesterday for me. And so I've been getting mm -hmm. that. I have a lot, I have a lot of time luckily to, to work on stuff awesome so. and 
that's the first resource I offer for, for manic control is no one's a nice guy. It's resonating with you clearly. So we're going to dig into it a little bit deeper. Um, you know, I tie the nice guy into marriage and everything, but you'll, this is, this is really important now that you understand the first two modules, really important because yeah. it, it's going to, it's going to break you out of the nice guy triangle so we can get on with the rest of the reset. Okay. 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 Yeah. Like getting through manic control, you'll it'll make sense why I told you to make the Canada Day plans with mm -hmm. or sorry, Canada Day. Keep saying that, but uh, <laughs> Independence Day. Plans. I understand. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It'll make sense because it's all about structure, dude. The direction that I want to go, why I make decisions, how I make decisions, why her disagreeing with my decisions doesn't have to affect me. Then we go back to stat responding because she's getting triggered. Like you see, you'll start to see we're just stacking skills upon skills upon skills, and then it's natural. And when it's natural, it's not work anymore, right? Okay, I think what I'll do is because it, the parade route and stuff like that's just right down the road from the house. So I guess I'll probably just send her a message or a voice message or something and say, hey, I'm going to be down here for the parade. You guys could join me if you want. I'd like that. I mean, something similar to that. No, nothing like I'd like that. Nothing like that. You're okay. just literally, you're invited. And say, yeah. like, what, what do you normally call her? Baby? Babe? Honey? What do you call her? Well, it's usually babe or honey, but I've been kind of weaning back on that because I, yeah, I don't know. No, for, for this, for this, we're going to do, we're going to call her babe then. So, hey, babe, it's a video text. Hey, babe. I picked up this stuff. I'm heading to the parade in a couple hours. Uh, you guys want to meet up? Just let me know. Right? And okay. show the stuff. Like, you put the hat on your head, man. The stupid American <laughs> cowboy hat or whatever you pick up. Right? With yeah. the flags coming off, man. And this, and make sure that she can, like, you're holding far enough away from the, from the camera that you can. I got stuff for you guys, too. Let me know. And you see my tone? Like, I'm just fun. I'm just excited. I'm not, if you want to, if, you li if you'd like, you know, which is the desperate yeah. thing. Like, you know, show in, invite her with the confidence. I know you don't quite have it yet, but just yeah. you, you don't have to send it the first take. It might take mm -hmm. you 10, but yeah, but send it, do it like that okay. fun from, from the store, like leaving the store. Like I've already bought this shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And then you see, yeah. if she says no and you're, and you're not affected and later you say, well, this is awkward. I had to, I had, I tried to sell the hats for 20 bucks, but nobody wanted them or whatever, you know, but it's kind of a fun game. I don't know. However you want to be goofy if you don't see them later. Right. Uh, yeah. That worked last night. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, oh what I, yeah. What I, last night it kind of worked because I just joked around with her. And, um, I was like, Hey, hope you guys are having a good night. I'm just having a romantic dinner with the dog, you know, a steak and some potatoes or something. I was going to try the uh, lady in the tramp thing with a noodle, but you know, I didn't uh, think that'd be too safe. And she was joking around with me and stuff like that. So trying to lighten it up. And I, th I think that's awesome. My only concern is saying something like that. Obviously we know what's going on and your guys are in a great, but anything, if she, if her mind's not in the game, she could read that like, Oh boy, he's all alone. What a, you know, like he can't. So uh, just be careful. That's why I like voice notes. That's why I like videos. You know, you can still mm -hmm. text, but you'll notice even in Lords, I try to drop voice notes all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Down the road, if you're texting me, I've always hoped that you have an iPhone so I can send you a voice note because yeah. I, I want to make sure it's clear and the tone is being presented, right? And, excuse mm -hmm. me, things like that. Because as you know from your job, it's not always the words, right? Exactly. So, yeah. So yeah, so it's, I think that's cute, and I'm not I'm not slamming it or anything. But you have to be aware if she's having an off day or if she's distracted, she might read that different. Not that that was a terrible yeah. example, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm sure she. Yeah, I'm sure she's because I haven't seen, but I mean I know. I mean she's in a she's having to do a lot of stuff right now. I mean on a tight ass budget, trying to get food and furniture and all this kind of stuff, and and uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure she's not in the greatest mood, but it's. Yeah, I'll be careful with that for sure. Yeah, one more thing you could have done too is like, and first of all, don't worry about her mood. Okay, it's not that's mm -hmm. we don't make anybody's mood right, but what we can do mm -hmm. is inspire and lead anyone out of bad mood, right? So if she's not yeah. clicking, you're just fun. Now, so don't forget you have those gifts on your phone too all the time, right? You could send a yeah. uh, or a picture, Google a picture of Lady in the Tramp if you don't, you know, can't make it happen with your dog. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can still get your. <laughs> You can still be fun. Think cartoony. That's what the A yeah. is in adventure or for stat, right? Adventure. Mm -hmm. Like be fun. 
you know, we all will also use curiosity and stuff, but like, just if you're, if you're on a roll with it, that's, that's going to support all these other times that you let her feel like the mom one would have been such a great example, right? When you're trying to get more, she can feel you're not puking. You see how we build the safe environment again? Yeah. That's what I did when I, I feel like, even though I didn't know your program or have as many tools, but I, that's what I did. Like at, when she left the first time, like I would send her, a, cause I have a hot, we have a hot tub and I'd just send her a selfie of me, you know, chilling in there or, you know, I, I, we were kind of going out on dates. I was doing my own thing. And I feel like that's what kind of worked to let her open up again. And then she came back, you know, whether it was from financial well, reasons or whatever, think, but. I'm not sure. I don't think that matters. Like, I just think that's one piece of the puzzle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if you think about it, like just using dates as an example, like almost all of us didn't plan more than the same five restaurants if we even planned dates, right? And, you know, so uh, flirts, you know, we get annoyed if they were texting us because we're busy working, right? And like, I remember that so clearly, like, oh, why are you texting me right now? I'm working, you know, like, I can't even fucking believe I was like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cause when you're, when you're like that, you're not getting naked selfies from, her, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. I do think it's, I think it's one part of the equation, but it's needed. And that's why I like okay. such a variety. It's why I'm talking, and you, you haven't seen man at play yet, but you can go get a head start in the toolbox. Just get some ideas. Okay. If you're already kind of like that, you also need to remember that you, you've shown that it will go away again. So we have to make sure that we follow yeah. through. It's part of who you are now. Okay. That's we just haven't covered it in the program yet. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's, de it's definitely because if you think about it, when she's unapologetically herself, which is the, the point of letting her feel. Okay. But now it's backed by girls just want to have fun. They still are singing at karaoke today. Right. Like, and mm. like now you are talking about now she's free when she's free. And then we talk about the purpose stuff we were talking about earlier, the right quality people in your life that we talked about earlier. You see how this all starts to overlap and you get your wife back because she's happy with you. She's safe with you. She has a partner with you. We didn't even cover partnership stuff right now. Right. And yeah. we, we did back off on how you're 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 going to approach taking care of Sierra right now. Like the, the pressure you're yeah. putting on her with the situation. So all of a sudden she's feeling peace, safety, security. Wait a minute. Partnership is easy. You know, she started to think, wow, geez, you know, it was e I wish it could have been this easy when we were living together. But when we're not, it's still yeah. easy. Who cares? She's thinking it's easy. Good. We keep providing the environment to move forward. Your purpose is good. Those other people we talked about at the beginning of the call are talking about you and, and talking you up. Sierra is for sure. Because when you see man with kids, man with kids, it's going to take you to the next level again. And then all of a sudden, you've already started this stuff with man with play. Then you get into the man with play module and you start bringing that guy in. And then this is who you are now. Dude, mm -hmm. that's why I go, there's nothing but time. Nobody else is nice. leveling up. You, you know, you. I, yeah. that's why I'm so confident about the program. It just stacks and stacks and stacks, and you just keep leveling up. Okay? Thanks, man. Yeah, I have confidence in it. So, Awesome, buddy. I appreciate it. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'm building a chicken coop for my wife. <laughs> have fun with that, man. Chickens <laughs> are fun. <laughs> uh, they're, yeah, I take them or leave them. They bring my family joy. Yeah, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, they'll be pets. We had a couple in our backyard in town, and yeah, they uh, were so picky. They wouldn't eat normal chicken food. Yeah, we had to spoil them. And, oh man, and they they finally died. <laughs> we didn't we didn't get any more. So. Didn't get more. We and, we uh, have uh, something called silky chickens. So they're like oh, they're yeah. totally pets. They're always, they're yeah yeah yeah. They're, there's a little long, we do long we do get and... eggs, but yeah, that's right. Some of them some of them, and they're like we got a rooster here. They're making chicks now. Like they're so. Like the like, yeah. one of them, the rooster looks like he has a mullet. It's hilarious. But. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Yeah, have fun with that. Thanks, buddy. Is it pretty hot? Right, Is it we'll pretty hot it. where you're at? Good. Uh, it's it's about twenty. Oh, about ninety five. I think it's not too bad. Maybe a little it's bit. About what it is. Yeah, not too. It's yeah. here. So it's very humid though. Humid, humid here. Oh, it's dry here. It's a high desert. So, uh, but uh, okay. Well, cool, man. Yeah, I appreciate you talking, and I'll just keep at it. So. Yeah, I'm loving where you're at, man. Keep it up, okay? Thanks. See you, Cash.